1223, if you're headed out to do some after Christmas shopping or maybe some holiday travel, things look pretty dry around the valley today and tomorrow. Just uh, some clouds. Not everywhere, as you saw before the commercial break, it's a little sunnier at the coast. Inland, it kind of looks more like this. You get some sun breaking through, but it's um, somewhat cloudy, kind of partly to mostly cloudy. Highs in the 70s, some areas near 80 degrees today. By the weekend, we do have a cold front coming in, not a really strong one, but it should drop temperature some on Sunday, and eventually a storm system behind it could bring some rain chances back in time for, you guessed it, New Year's Eve. So here we go today, though, mostly cloudy temperatures in the 70s and near 80 degrees. Uh, light winds. The humidity is coming up a bit. We'll show you in a second, but currently temperatures are in the upper 70s if you're headed out for lunch. Not too much wind out there to blow your napkins and uh, drinks around if you're taking a little outdoor lunch in here in December. Humidity has been creeping its way up. A few days ago, the air was still nice and dry feeling, but the moisture content increasing. Dew points are back in the 60s, so a little more mugginess in the air. Not incredibly humid, but it does make the mornings warmer if you're going to be out for a walk or run in the morning the next few mornings. Uh, we'll probably be out when temperatures are in the 60s near sunrise instead of the uh, 30s and 40s like we had a few mornings ago. So it is uh, quite warm out there for this time of year. And you look at the satellite radar, skies, as you saw, kind of partly in the mostly cloudy. It doesn't show up really well here with some of the lower clouds on the satellite. Some of the higher thin clouds are off to the west. But when we expand this out, you see there are more clouds farther into west Texas and Mexico. Some of these clouds will be crossing the area later this evening and tonight, but still very slim chance there could be a sprinkle. There's have a, maybe a little wheat disturbance here coming through tonight. Might kick off a little sprinkle this evening or tonight, but it's uh, very little, if any, rain chance. So this afternoon on Future Track, mostly cloudy skies around or partly cloudy at times. And then by this evening, I think the clouds will fill in uh, more tonight and early tomorrow morning. But then I think Friday, kind of a you know, light today, but maybe a little bit sunnier at times, kind of partly sunny by afternoon, maybe mixing in some clouds from time to time. But uh, similar to today's temperatures. And then even by Saturday, as we finish off uh, the last work week of, of uh, 2019 and the decade, and Saturday looking like a pretty decent day. Could be a bit on the windy side or a little breezy at times in the afternoon. We'll have to wait and see as the front approaches and maybe pick up the winds a little bit on Saturday and then a little breezy behind it on Sunday. Now we're jumping ahead a couple more days. This is Monday now, early next week. The lines I have on here is kind of the upper level flow. So we look across Texas, uh, the flow in the air in the upper levels coming in from the west. But then you see a storm system coming in to northwestern Mexico on New Year's Eve. As that storm gets closer, it will tend to throw some moisture and clouds our way. So we could start to see a little bit of light rain shower activity uh, on Tuesday going into Wednesday for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Depending on the speed of the storm system, some of the models say it may take a little longer to get on this track. So if that happens, it may be dry on New Year's uh, Eve, but you see as we go toward New Year's Eve night and into the morning on New Year's Day, could be some rain showers around. So you want to watch out, uh, be prepared just in case. So officially, won't be super specific on the forecast quite yet, but generally it looks like temperatures in the 60s across the valley, probably at the stroke of midnight when the new year begins and probably mostly cloudy and there might be some rain showers around. So again, you might want to be on the lookout for uh, <laughs> maybe a little rain gear if you're headed out on New Year's Eve. 78 today, mostly cloudy skies, maybe a sprinkle by this evening or tonight, but it looks pretty dry out there. And the first one, five AccuWeather seven day forecast, 78 today, 80 tomorrow, 81 on Saturday. Maybe a couple of light rain showers Saturday night or early Sunday morning before sunrise as that front comes through, but high still in the low 70s on Sunday. It could be a little windy on Sunday. Monday looks uh, pretty dry, but later at night and then Tuesday, we could pick up a few light rain showers. And again, maybe not heavy rain anywhere, but we could see some showers in the valley or near the valley uh, later Tuesday night for the start of New Year's on Wednesday as well. We'll keep tracking those changes in your first 1-5 forecast here coming up. Now let's see what Gabby has for us.